Yum. I feel so good today, even though I can't find my way. Your heart's been keeping you away. Don't be afraid, cause I know that. Oh, soon there'll come a day when you will turn around and say, My heart's in such a lonely place. Gotta take a moment, I'm feeling. To many people, this dance seems to have come out of nowhere. But like everything else, breakdancing did come from somewhere, something, and someone. In the case of breakdancing, the somewhere came from New York's Bronx in 1970. It originated in New York, predominantly amongst members of the African American community. It became popular with its introduction onto the New York street scene. Dancers in this new art style were known as B-Boys. I would say a b-boy number one has to be original. Originality, originality is a big, big, big part of breaking. You always have to come up with your own ideas, come up with your own style. Um, I would say they would have to be raw, no, no trying to look perfect or fancy, like just that raw energy that comes out, like when you listen to music, like that, that pure, pure energy that comes out. Not, none of that like, you know, doing a particular order of steps, like just going with the flow. B-Boy involves a whole bunch of movements. I mean, there is foundational movements such as top rock, um, then you have like the footwork stuff, which is your basic six steps, the wipers, the grinds. Um, a lot of people have influenced uh, and evolved the culture as far as the movement. Um, now, a days, people like myself and my crew push forward so that we are able to like grab um, different movements from different dances um, and actually, you know, um, use time and space to create dynamic movement. And that, um, to me, is a major factor in pushing the culture forward um, as far as movement goes. This new, unique, acrobatic dance would be known as breaking. But who and what was the inspiration and influence of breaking back in 1970? The summon was the great superstar, James Brown. If you've ever seen James Brown live in concert or on TV, then you would know that he puts a lot of passion into his dance and music. And when he performed his hits, he did the kind of dance you'd expect James Brown to do. High energy. Yeah! Oh, 
The something that influenced the kids back in 1970 was the famous dance by James Brown, The Good Foot, which was from his hit single, Get on the Good Foot, back in 1969. With James Brown's combination of high energy, passion, and dance moves, his huge influence on the 1970s youth helped them create their own style and their own dance moves, such as Top Rock, Six Step, Freezes, and Personal Flavor. These were the first steps and, uh, and dance moves to the art of breaking. Um, break dancing to me is a lifestyle. It's a form of art where you express, where you express yourself through your body, through movements, you listening to uh, syncopated to music, you know, rhythms, mostly the drum, congas. It's really just. Uh, um, it's an addiction. That's what it is. Break dancing playing your life. Um, it keeps me going. It's like, I, it keeps me positive. It's a, um, I use it as a mechanism to just stay in shape. Um, it's also a vehicle for creativity. So I mean, I'm an artist. So breaking somehow taps into my artistic side, and it allows me to you know think. Um, um, in divergent ways. When I battle, what do I feel? Is that what you're asking? Um, it depends. Sometimes I'm nervous. Um, other times I'm like, alright, I'm ready to rip this person apart. It's exhilarating. It's, it's an adrenaline rush. I'll say that. Back in the day, B-boys would dance two at a time and try to come up with a group of moves that would prove their skill to be better than their opponents. Thus these battle dances became the occasional substitute for violence between the gangs. The original moves consisted of mainly style, such as freezes and footwork, and less of what is popular today, power moves such as head spins, 90s, and flares. These were known as ciphers. Um, there's a lot of different ways to practice breaking. I just practice more in the form of a cipher, and uh, me and my crew members, we just take turns, just dancing in general, but we also focus on specific moves and we also focus on specific routines for upcoming shows or battles. I guess when I was uh, 16, 17, I got the inspiration to dance from watching music videos, and to, from Michael Jackson to MC Hammer to like, just a lot of like old, new, old little hip hop dance. <laughs> um, uh, growing up, I, I actually started breakdancing and I found uh, there was no breakdancers in our area, it's probably like three, three or four. And uh, one of my main influences was in Germany and the other one was in New York. One was Ken Swift, um, Crazy Legs, a whole rock steady crew at the time. And then like uh, B-Boy Storm and his crew. Now, I would have to say my whole squad inspires me. I mean, from, from Gun Jack to Toys to Sidebot to LT to you know, to Ghost, to Toys, to Dom, to Napalm, to Zax, to, to Goof, to... Like, everybody has their own different style. They, they, uh, they create, create without being scared of pulling out into the open. And, uh... Where the heck do they come up with this stuff from? Throughout the years, B-Boys have been inspired by different styles of dance. From tap dancing to ballet, breakdancing has similar dance moves. Breakdancing has even adopted moves from around the world. It's easy to see the huge influences that African tribal, Native American tribal, capoeira, and kung fu has had on modern dance.
From the highly restricted postures of ballet to the wholly unrestricted moves of urban hip-hop, movement from international dances are at the core. These different dance styles have had a large influence on American dance.